no freaking way. All right, man. Well, here we go. <laughs> Damn. going on guys welcome to the new video so as you guys know i competed in a men's physique show about a month ago right when it comes to competing you're literally getting ready for one specific day right you're dieting for however long my diet was three months some people maybe two four whatever the case it's all for one day after that day you're never gonna look like how you did on stage again so after my show i had a cheat meal right like I ate all night long. I had at least like five fat and weird cookies. I had some water burger. I had some pizza, some snacks. Like I ate a lot. But if I'm going to be honest, it didn't taste as good as I thought it would. And after I had it, I felt pretty like nasty and gross. And I was like, yo, I can't wait to start eating like, healthy again, right? Like Once I get back home, I'm going to like get back on track. And I kind of enjoyed the next day. I had some in and out And then later that night, we went to this Mexican restaurant and I couldn't even finish my quesadilla because I was so full from everything that I'd already had. And I had this huge margarita that I drank that having that liquid after everything that I'd eaten from the day prior and on Sunday, like it, it just did not sit right. And I ended up throwing up like later that night. Despite all that, it didn't stop there. Like I was so full and I felt like I couldn't eat any more after that. Later that night around like 11 p.m. or midnight, I got a box of a dozen donuts. I ate that from that night into the next morning. No matter how full I felt, I just kept on eating, right? After that, I was like, okay, I'm done eating until I get back home tomorrow from this flight, right? Even when I got to the airport, I, I just kept on eating and eating and eating. I had like one layover, so both airports I was at before coming to Virginia, I just, I just could not stop eating. And it felt weird that I just, I felt like I couldn't control myself. And when I got back, I was able to get back on track like I intended to. So I already made a home cooked meal for breakfast. I ate a good nutritious lunch and it was good. Like it was all like macro friendly foods. And then I go work out and then on my way back home from the gym, I'm driving past the gas station, right? And as I'm driving, I'm thinking of all the snacks they have in this gas station. This one sensational urge flowing through my veins came across me and I just turned into the gas station. I go inside and I bought at least $50 worth of pure snacks. I'm talking ice cream, gas station, like snacks, you know, the cookies, the baked goods, candy, like so many things. And I wasn't even hungry. That's the thing. But I just bought them all. And when I got home, I ate everything. I was not hungry, but I ate everything. And I told myself, I'm like, yo, we gotta get our acts together, man. Like, this is not right. And then the next day, I did it all over again. I tried to get back on track, but I couldn't. And then the next day, I didn't even bother getting back on track. I just told myself, I'm gonna get ready on Monday, right? We'll, we'll just continue to enjoy ourselves for this one week. Get back on track Monday, right? And then Monday came, pretty much, I kept telling myself I'm gonna get back on track on this day throughout the entire month of October, and I, I couldn't. I could not get back on track. It was, and it was such a weird feeling that I just couldn't control, and I was pretty much a vegetable like all month long, just at home, eating all these foods, barely even going to the gym. And I really love training, and that's the weirdest part. I just, I preferred eating food and doing nothing at home all month long than the one thing that I love most. And I have no idea how to explain this lack of self-control that I had other than to say that it felt like being possessed by a demon, like forcing me to eat all this food no matter how full I was. There were probably two to three times that I just threw up from how much food I ate all month long, man. Obviously, that's what led to me gaining 30 pounds in a month. You know, like if you just you, if all you do is eat and not work out, you're, you're obviously going to gain weight because the key to gaining, losing, maintaining weight is all caloric intake versus caloric outtake. If you burn more calories than you eat in a day, you're going to lose weight. If you eat more calories than you burn in a day, you're going to gain weight. If you're in the middle, you're going to maintain. It's basic laws of thermodynamics. If I'm going to be straight up, the only reason that I felt that I was able to get my act together is because, well, there are a few reasons. One is that I kind of got tired of just eating so much, but the main reasons are I finally stepped on the scale. I was avoiding the scale all month long. 
I did not look at myself in the mirror like I didn't look at my physique all month long. I didn't want to like accept the fact that I was gaining all of this weight. But the clip that you guys saw earlier in this video was the day that I finally had the courage to take a good look at myself and step on the scale, right? When I saw that I had no ab definition at all and that I was over 200 pounds of what's clearly not muscle, I was like, yo, this is not acceptable, man. You have to get your act together. From that day, I've dropped significant amount of weight, man. I'm already a little over 10 pounds down now, and I'm very <laughs> happy to finally be back into a routine of things. This is a thing that a lot of competitors, a lot of people in the fitness industry go through, and it's a topic that I believe is something that needs to be addressed, and this is something that happens all the time. There are so many people who compete in a show and then all they do is just eat, right? I know so many YouTubers that have gone through the same thing. I know plenty of my friends that have gone through the same thing. People just don't like to talk about this because it's kind of embarrassing. It's like, you know, you work so hard for this physique, for this thing, and then you just let it all go. Like, it's, it's embarrassing. I'm pretty embarrassed to share this, to tell you the truth, but I'm sharing this because I'm sure there are other people who have gone through something like this. Maybe you're going through something like this right now. And I just want to say that you're not in this alone, but that doesn't mean that it's okay, right? You have to be able to get your act together and just be able to move on, man. But that is definitely one of the toughest parts because this whole binge eating disorder that I had, I felt like I had no control, man. But yeah, man, that's the story on how I gained all of that weight in a month, my post-show rebound. But that's not all I want to say. I also want to share a few tips on what I plan to do, what I've already started doing to get back on track, get like our physique back and just be able to grow, get back into a routine, right? So the first tip that I wanna share is to get back into a routine, right? I literally did nothing all month last month other than eat with the exception of going to work. I woke up at any time I wanted, like some days I'd wake up in the afternoon, some days I'd wake up in the morning, and you don't wanna do that. You wanna get into a routine, set small goals for the day, that way you can be able to progress and just move forward. Second tip I wanna say is to enjoy what you eat. Having a healthy diet that you enjoy is key to living a sustainable diet in the long run. That's what I normally do outside of that last month of prep where you just have to dial in and get ready for show day. That's just a different ballpark. I'm talking like, lifestyle dieting, just having a healthy body, right? Enjoying what you eat is crucial. And one of the key things that I do, that I recommend for you guys to do as well, find the foods that you already like. I'm talking like the unhealthy ones, cheeseburgers, pasta, ice cream, and make healthy alternatives to those, right? Like for instance, I get Halo Top ice cream, it only has 300 calories for the whole pint, versus Ben & Jerry's that has over a thousand, it's literally the same amount. Halo Top still tastes amazing. You can just get so creative in the kitchen, there's plenty of things on YouTube you can find. Go to Google, find healthy lower calorie alternatives, and that's gonna help you so much in the long term. But one more thing on top of that is just knowing that you can eat out in moderation, right? If you wanna eat out with friends, if you wanna go for drinks, if there's just like, you know, a whole box of pizza you just wanna eat in a day, that's totally fine. So long as you get back on track the next day and you get back into your routine and you're not doing that every single day, like that's totally cool, man. And the third and final tip that I wanna share is acceptance. If you've already gained the weight, you need to accept the fact that you don't look the same anymore you've clearly put on so many pounds. You can't just tell yourself, oh, it's water. It's only water retention. I'll lose it in a day. Oh, it's only this. Oh, you have to accept. Just take a good look in the mirror and look at the scale and know that you have put on the weight and you have to put in the work to lose the weight again, which is what I did, right? I've been able to get back into my routine. I feel so much more energized now. But on the flip side, if you reach the end of your prep or your diet or whatever, then you need to accept the fact that you're not gonna look the way you do at your end goal or at your peak anymore, right? Like if you wanna put on more muscle or if you wanna grow, you're not gonna look like you're most shredded anymore, right? You can still look good, but you don't have to be shredded. It doesn't have to be, sh be shredded or be fat. Find that balance in between and try to stick to that, man. But yeah, man, those are the three tips that I wanted to share. And with that said, that is gonna conclude this video. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below on any of your experiences, on your thoughts, or a video you'd like to see next. And I will see you guys in the next one.